I'm just gonna let that play. <laughs> so I've been putting off making a, um, a fairly large announcement actually. Um, so I don't know why I keep putting it off. I think there's a part of me that was afraid that if like, if I made it like public public, I would jinx it, but it's kind of impossible to jinx <laughs> at this point. Um, I mean, just sitting here thinking, am I really gonna release this? Am I really gonna do this? So if any of you have, um, I'm just gonna let Bonnie on play in the background here. Just, I'm not gonna monetize this. I'm sure I'm still gonna get like a copyright thing, but that's fine. Um, actually before, so the reason we have Bonnie on playing is because one of the things I do, I have like a, a pretty extensive um, music um, a library uh, through iTunes. And um, at different times I will like say, okay, Cindy Spirit Team, send me a song. And they're always like really relevant and I kind of love doing it. And sometimes it's just like, I could be really stressed out and busy and I have too many things in my head and I think there's too many things I need to do. And they'll send me like, like this section of music that I had when my son was a baby, like baby meditation music that's really calming. And anyway, so um, a couple times they have sent me this song and I know why they have. The first time I thought, oh, that's an odd song to send me, like Christmas. But I listened to the lyrics and I thought about it and I thought, oh my God, it's true. <laughs> it's true. So I'll be home for Christmas and I will. Um, finally, after almost four years, I guess three and a half or whatever it's been, but it will be if you guys have known me for a while and been following my channel for a bit, I have done multiple moves in a very short period of time. Um, the first move I did was my choice, and then all the moves after that were not my choice because then I just kept getting evicted. Um, landlords wanting to move back into houses and all sorts, pretty much actually both times. <laughs> it was literally that. Um, and anyways, so <laughs> I'm not gonna, I, I won't and I can't really get into all the, the legal details of why it's taken this long, but none of it was by my choice. I know a few times I've had comments from people like, what do you think all this moving is doing to your son, Cindy? <laughs> like, oh, we should maybe ask the other people that are also involved with it. But anyways, um, I bought a house. So I bought a house, I finally bought a house and um, I actually got possession of it uh, just over a week ago. I think October the 19th was the day that I got possession of the house. Um, it's an older home. It needs a little, little needs a lot of love. <laughs> needs a lot of love and a little bit of money. So both of which I have to give. So um, it's, oh, oh my God, it's playing the other Bing Crosby now. How crazy is that? I just have it on like, oh my gosh, like shuffle. Okay, so um, I'm going to put you down on the... <laughs> Christmas is my favorite time of year, too. I know y'all probably think it's Halloween because I'm a little bit witchy and crazy, but uh, I have special memories with Christmas. So um, I bought a house. <laughs> yeah, I bought a house. And um, we don't move in until towards the end of November. It, um, I think the house was built in 1968. <laughs> when it was built which you know depending on where you live that's not very old but here in Canada everything like anything that's more than 30 years old they seem to knock it down and um build again and um this house I could see has had some love put in it at different times and um now it's time for more love so been spending a bit of time there cleaning a lot of cleaning and painting my son's learning how to paint which is great and um, I have to get some new floors in. <laughs> the floors in the bedrooms are the original 1968 hardwood and they're not salvageable and there's no reason to. <laughs> just, no, no. So we're trying to get that done before we move in. And um, yeah, so I don't know. I just, I, you know, I, f I feel like it's, cause you're gonna notice that I'm somewhere different in a few weeks. Um, and I, I just, there was a part of me that, yeah, I just kind of didn't want to say anything either. But, I mean, it's closed. Me and mostly the bank own it at this point now. So, um, 
yeah, so I'll be, I'll finally, honestly be home for Christmas. I'll have my own home. So I bought, I bought my first condo when I was 30, something like that. I had to scrimp and save and save and save and I did. And I bought my first condo and there's a lot of water under the bridge since that, but um, yeah, when I bought that condo, I never thought that I would be renting again because that's what I did not want to do because I do feel like I knew not everyone can afford it and it was what I could afford. Um, but yeah, you are at the uh, mercy of a landlord. So anyways, that all ends for me. Um, I ain't playing it again. That's just crazy. Stop. <laughs> Stop, Bane. Um, it's like a spirit of Bing came in. Mm. Oh my God. That's crazy. The spirit of Bing came in. I don't know if any of y'all are fans of, um, the program friends, but yeah, really, um, sad to hear that, um, oh shit. <laughs> no, see my mind wasn't there the hell is his name now i'm only getting like chandler bing his character which isn't fair because that's not the person that he was um yeah he's passed away and as he's had a lot of demons that he's dealt with for a long time and he was way too young but that was really weird though i mean i didn't have any intention of bringing that in but it was like the yeah the spirit of bing came in um so anyways now i'm just kind of rambling on and um yeah so uh i hope i've <laughs> <laughs> We're going to move again. I know I say that, but I can't even count how many times I've moved in this lifetime. I don't know. It's kind of like how many jobs I've had. <laughs> it's just nuts. It's nuts. I don't know why that is. I guess it just is in some lives, right? And I know some people enjoy moving around a lot. Um, I can't say that I do. <laughs> I can't say that I do. I want to say like I've done it at younger, earlier ages. It's a lot to do when you're tagging around a child and pets and you know i have parts of myself that have been packed up now for four years i'm i'm a visual artist i haven't driven drawn or painted anything well now except a wall in probably four over four years i used to also make um grow natural um <laughs> botanical plants and create uh, creams and oils and stuff. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of me that's been packed away for a long time. <sighs> so I'll be home for Christmas. So that's what I'm gonna tell you, I will be home for Christmas. And I thought, yeah, I will. And you probably noticed from the, if you are familiar with Bonium, uh, that I did steal there. <laughs> that's their cover. For the Christmas album that that song is from, but I put myself in there. I felt kind of bad covering them up because they all look so handsome and beautiful in their Christmas attire in that album. But anyway, so <laughs> I put myself in there dreaming. And uh, yeah, so my dream, I don't even know. I, f I think at some point I stopped dreaming, <laughs> just like functioning. So I think I can start to dream again. Um, yeah, the new house. And um, that's kind of like my big news. <laughs> Yeah, um, that uh, we are moving and it should be the last time I've said to my friends, my girlfriends, I've said, you know what? They will drag my cold dead body out of that house because I don't want to move again. I have moved. I don't even know if I can count how many times that I've moved. It kind of started even young. I was just born into it. I was born into my grandparents' home. And then my parents had a place, Jane and Finch, and then they moved out of there. And then, um, oh, and then there was a, a place kind of like, Western, West Etobicoke. Oh, and then I lived in Mimico. Um, I lived in Mimico. And then Barry, Oro. Where did I go from there? Near. Oh, and then North York. And Mississauga. <laughs> and then, I'm going to start, stop naming towns in a minute. <laughs> Don't want to center on where I am. Because there's still some crazy people out there that I, I'm pretty sure are looking for me. I mean, maybe that's why it's good to move around so much. Um, is 
This would be 15? I guess that's not so bad in 51 years. I don't know what that works out to. Oh, y'all, quick with math. What is that, 51? So 50, every three and a half years. <laughs> every three and a half years, that's not my ideal. Anyway, so yeah. So this will be number 15. Oh, well, anyways. Uh, that's all I have to say. I think, yeah, that's all I have to say. I don't know what else to say. It's, um, oh, it's got a wood burning fireplace. I'm so excited. I have plans for myself, literally. So my family room has a wood burning fireplace. And then you'll see, um, off of that room is, uh, I don't know what you would call it. It's like an addition that they put on maybe like 20 years ago. And it's, um, uh, almost like a sunroom or something or an office. But that's where I'm going to do my videos. Excuse me. And, um, but when I, so there are no really windows in this family room, but the adjoining office, sunroom, whatever it is, like it's a big archway like that it used to be, I think it used to be a big sliding glass door. They took it out. So it's a big archway in there. So it's fairly open. So not to say like the family room is morbidly dark, but it's cozy and it has a big stone wood burning fireplace and which is my favorite i never understood gas i just don't get it it's like if i want the house to be warmer i'll turn up the thermostat it's like it's just like there's no there's no life to that flame it's really bleh. um so i'm really excited to um because i know some people will say well the wood is not really that efficient most of the heat goes out the chimney i don't fucking care i'm doing it for the ambience i'm doing it for the sound i'm doing it for the smell if I like, if I wanted the house to be warmer, I would turn up the thermostat. I just need a gas burning fireplace to do that. Um, so, anyways, my plan, my plan for the winter, is to sit and watch the fire and the snow, <laughs> literally, and probably paint, probably paint, probably paint. So I'm trying to get as much done as I can before we move in, but it's not. It's like the whole house really needs to be painted. I was actually painting. I painted the linen closet. I went in the linen closet and you know, I was washing stuff and <laughs> washing stuff. And, um, you know, when you're like looking at areas that, you know, have aged and you're trying to determine how many times have they painted this? Cause you can see like a little chip or something here. There's like one coat, one coat of paint to put on that linen closet, I guess in 1968. So I thought, well, we're going to spruce this up a little bit. So yeah. Uh, uh. It's a beautiful backyard. Lily is so excited. It's actually a, a, a pretty big piece of property. Um, it's almost 200 feet deep. And um, it's got some good stuff in it. And um, Lily is just, every time she knows we're going to the house, she, gets, she just runs right to that back door and she wants to go out. Um, she just wants to go out. I've had to put like a little makeshift because I need a proper fence around portions of it i'll do that in the spring i've got something set up to keep her safe over the that time period but she is such an excited little girl and i told her i told her this is your retirement home honey because she um she's getting older now like when we first started moving she was four and now she's what is she so see wait oh is she I'm just, wait a second. I'm trying to figure out. So when my, is she seven or eight? No. She's seven. <laughs> I always have to count backwards. I guess I remember how old my son was when we got her. So she's seven and eight. She'll, seven and a half. She'll be eight in May. So she's, you know, she's getting to be a little bit older and she's put on a bit of weight over all of this. Cause she doesn't have the best yards. Oh, she loves this yard. She just runs and runs through this yard. I'm like, oh honey, you're gonna lose weight. You're gonna be in good shape. She's such a happy girl. Um, she's such a happy girl about this. So that makes me really happy too. My son's really excited because he's wanted to make a room like his own for quite some time now. And I think that's why he's been he spent seven hours painting yesterday. I it was it was his first time. He was he said, I wanna paint my room, I wanna paint my room. And um I was like, okay. Well, it's a good time to do it because that room, the floor is going to get replaced. So I thought, you know what? This problem, the floor and the baseboards will all get replaced. So if there's an accident, it's not, you know, the end of the world. And there was an accident. 
yesterday and it almost landed on Lily, but it was okay. It was okay. Um, but yeah, he spent uh, seven hours painting. I did the first coat. It needs primer. It's like this, you know, the, like the greens and the golds that people used to put on the walls 20 years ago. That's what's in this house. A lot of that. And it's old too. Like it's just, you know, it's just... It's faded and dirty, the dirt. So been cleaning and cleaning. Anyways, um, yeah, so he's excited. He's his room is interesting. It's got like three closets, which is way too many closets, and it makes it difficult, you know, in terms of having wall space, because he wants to have his computer in his room, and then he has another room that's like his 3D printing room and everything like that that I have for him. So um gonna have for him. We decided what we did. So this was actually really hard. Have <laughs> you ever taken anything apart that was built in 1968? <laughs> so out of the three closets, there was one we decided because it's it's wide enough and it's deep enough that he can put his computer desk in it. And um, so I kind of thought, why don't we make it like a computer alcove? And he kind of like, liked the idea. And I said, that gives us like a lot more space. Like we can utilize that in a your room like the room isn't small but like I said it's just weird it's awkward because all these walls have doors on them so um I took off their like those accordion doors I took those off that wasn't hard but it wasn't but damn the shit that was up there you know like the the framework on the wall that then the, the that shelf goes on and then the um the pole to hang your clothes on <laughs> oh my god so it was I don't know how they put them in. I get, would they not? I don't know. I don't know. They're big nails, <laughs> big nails like that. That like you know have little. They curl. They have like an edge to them. They were hammered right into cement. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Pulling those took me two days to dismantle this closet, and I thought, oh, I did not think it was going to be that hard. Anyway, it got dismantled, and I patched up the wall. <laughs> And it's going to be pretty cool, actually. It's going to be pretty cool. And he's really excited about his room. So I'm excited that everybody's excited. Larry, Larry doesn't... You know what? This is the thing I've learned about Larry that makes me kind of sad. Um, the first time we moved... and Well, the, no, the last... The first time I moved with him, with Larry, our cat, the... Um, uh, he would only have him for, what, a couple of months, actually, before the move. I remember I got the notice that we were getting evicted and he hadn't even arrived yet. And I remember thinking to myself, oh my God, my life was so <laughs> sad. Anyway, it all worked out. It all worked out. And, um, but do you know the night before we were moving, I don't know if I told you this story. I feel like an old lady now. <laughs> we hatched these stories over and over again. Um, I, the night before the movers were coming that time, my car was full, you know, like you just fill the car up with as much stuff as you can that are things that you need to know where they are, which doesn't really help because it's all buried in the car anyway. So you're like, I don't know where the toothbrush is, but the car was jam packed full. And Larry, you know, he would go in and out of the garage periodically anyways, because it's attached to the house. He got in that car and he wouldn't get out. And I thought, like, Larry, you got to get And he'd never, ever done that before. And I just had this instinctive feeling that he, it was almost like, when the caravan ca packs up, you got to go or you get left behind. Like, it just really got that feeling from him. And my son had to crawl into the car to get him out because, like, it was still the evening. We weren't until the next morning going. So, anyways, I, I remember that stayed with me. And there's been times where, like, we've gone up to my, my mom's and he stays here at the house. And, like, my girlfriends will come by a couple times a day while we're away to check on him and everything. And we put suitcases and stuff in the car. Never react. Never ever reacts like that. The the day, okay. The the night before, I knew it was going to close the next day. I would loaded the car up, so I kind of made a promise to myself because I have a month and a half this time to move. So I made a promise to myself, like I do not make a trip to that house with at least something in the car. So for the first little while, it was jam packed. Like the first week, it was packed with stuff. And that first night. He got edgy and he got in the car again. <laughs> and I had this horrible feeling. I felt, I I feel like he became astray because somebody moved and left him behind. So we've had talks. We've had lots of talks with him. I'm like, no, you're with us. You're with us forever. That's it. Like, that's how it goes now. 
and um so he's been we've been taking him there once i got like it fairly clean and i knew everything was safe too like i'm always worried about introducing my animals into a house you don't know if somebody's had mouse poison or anything like that down before or anything the house was good it was safe and uh, he started going and he's been there maybe four times now and i feel like he's much calmer about what's happening because he's eaten there i have a second litter box for him there he can see like all the stuff that's disappearing here is going there he's a smart guy he really puts things together up there like it's funny you can't i feel like it's it's important at least maybe for him i don't know other animals too that they understand what is happening so he can see i think he understands that we're kind of moving stuff or maybe we just live in two places now. i don't know but anyways he's not he's not anxious anymore he's calmed down quite a bit so anyways that's yeah i'm gonna be home for christmas finally <sighs> To exhale, actually, yeah. I think it will be like a big exhale. And um, mm, just get comfortable. I've met a couple of the neighbors already. They're so friendly. <laughs> so friendly. <laughs> yeah, they're so friendly. And um, that's it. That's all I got to say. And that's all I'm going to talk. I just, yeah, you know, I don't know what else you'd want to know that I would share. <laughs> that's so... Um, but I thought, yeah, I should let you guys know because a, a lot of you, I know, you're really, you're actually like 99% of you are really kind people. And <laughs> no. this is like a public domain. So it is open to whoever, whatever wants to, um, you know, be envious or jealous or whatever. But I've worked for this. I have slaved for it. I have earned this a fucking shit so hard. And I'm still earning it because I didn't get like a palatial mansion or anything like that. It's um, it's a very nice, cozy home that needs some love and paint and a few other things. And probably some new appliances down the road, too. <laughs> so, anyways, it is what it is. It's home. So I will, as Bonnie has said, I will be um, home for Christmas. Yeah. I guess Bing can, Bing can take us out. Yeah. Oh, the yard's big enough to make an ice rink too. I might well not this year. <laughs> I might do that next year. Although I wanted to put a fire pit there. <laughs> I'm gonna have the Christmas tree down there by the fireplace too. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna stop it there. Not if only in my dreams. <laughs> so there you go. That's what I have. I gotta get to work. I gotta start doing some readings because you know the bank can't kick me out of the house as long as I always pay the mortgage. I'm like a landlord, so that's my big news, guys. So yeah. And uh, that's what I got to say. Till next time, be gentle with yourselves. Bye.